it's been a lot of struggle with art. But I find my best solace with it. I think that it's a, to me, it's like better than the best therapist. And my name is Java Lewis. I started out doing art as a very early age. Uh, I guess I must have been about six years old. I, later on, painting became a part of me when there was not nothing else, nobody for me to talk to, to, to kind of get me out of some of the mental things that I would be in, some of the struggles that I would be in in life, you know. I took solace out on my paintbrush. I would always go back to it. Uh, being an artist always brought me a, a sense of uh, relaxation. It, you know, it, no matter who I talked to, whether it was a psychiatrist or friend or whatever, or something that I may have been going through in my life, I get with that paint. I'm just there, me, my paint, whatever I got a paint on. Believe it or not, a lot of times I didn't have the money to go to the art supply store and none of that stuff there. So I even been a dumpster diver. You know, and I've done some of my best work, I believe, on stuff that I've just found. I take care of myself with art. I've been on the street before. I know what it is to sleep up under a bush. But when I was homeless on the street, I have to give myself a little credit. I was smart enough not to sleep in any doorway and I chose streets I would be like, I know the kind of people that walk around here, they mad with the world. They just might see me sitting over there sleeping, kick me. I said, no, nah, I ain't finna sleep in that doorway. And I ain't finna sleep up under that bush. And so I kept me a little pride. And uh, I chose an area. I said, well, I'm gonna be somebody. Again. They put some cement down and it was still wet. I said, I'm coming up. I didn't let life take its toll on me. That cement was wet. I thank God just put it there for me. I had just read that thing, the greatest corner on earth, and I wrote my phone number on there. And I got a call the next day. And the next time you're downtown Birmingham, you look right there on the corner of First Avenue and 20th Street, and you will still see my name and my phone number. When I see children uh, uh, dealing with art, you know, I don't give them, give them, you know, I don't, I don't just tell them everything. Some parents be like, you know, my son, he been giving me so much trouble. And I think about getting him involved in one of your programs that he might do better. So it's been working though. I found a, a troublesome kid and I get him into the art and it works like therapy. When I work with them, it makes my life more complete that I'm able to help them. And that'll let a kid know not to be discouraged and that you're not just gonna be broke and hungry and have to go through what I went through just because you chose art. You could be a draftsman, you could be an architect, anything you do. It started with art. Everything ain't not gonna always be peaches and cream. You know, because I know that the bitter comes with the sweet. But I tell you right now, <laughs> I'm enjoying this moment. <laughs>